everybody, this is Anthony Rocco with Appliance Buyer's Guide, and today I have a very special guest here. This is Mark Livingood with Lee Bear USA, who's going to talk to us a little bit about how the refrigeration works on the inside of the Lee Bear refrigerator. Mark, take it away. Hey, hey thanks, Anthony. First off, this unit is one of the most energy efficient refrigerators in America. Uh, the way we obtain that efficiency is, is how we function with the compressor. It actually is a variable speed compressor, which will alternate, speed up, slow down based on the demand. Uh, they can save you about 25% over a standard alternating compressor. The other thing is we have variable speed fans, LED lighting, and then we actually use a refrigerant called R600, which uh, actually turbocharges the process. When you compress R600, which is basically just butane, uh, it literally will supercharge and get you into temperatures that uh, standard compressors, standard uh, refrigerants can't get to. We can actually get this one in the refrigerator down to minus 27 degrees. Um, there's actually a setting on here called Super Cool and Super Frost, which overrides the process, puts it at the coldest setting, and will generate for six hours the coldest settings in both the refrigerator and the freezer. You use this for two things. One, if you're having a party tonight, it'll actually boost your ice production. It also will allow you, if you're in and out during that party, to recoup the air much quicker. Uh, but really, probably what's coming on real strong is using this if you're doing your shopping at the Sam's Club or Costco, places like that. By the time you drive there, load up, get back home in a hot car, your food's already starting to get into a defrost or unrefrigerated state. If you hit the super cold, super frost settings, which are located right up here, before you leave and go on that sharpening, you literally will drive it to the coldest setting, so therefore when you put your food back in there, it's gonna get it back to that refrigerated frozen state quicker with less moisture loss, and it'll actually help you with your preservation. Um, one of the things that's really neat about the R600 refrigerant, I just wanna go back to that, because if you are into uh, eco-friendly, um, you're not really building an eco-friendly refrigerator today unless you're using R600. We've been doing this for over 18 years. The rest of the world has gone to this. Uh, the reason you go to it is it's actually lighter than, or excuse me, heavier than air. So you can actually change the gas out of this system if you ever had to do service by just draining it right outside where R134, uh, which is used by most refrigerants, uh, most refrigerator manufacturers, uh, is actually very damaging to the ozone layer because it's lighter than air. It goes straight to the ozone. So if you're into eco, uh, this is the most eco-friendly refrigerator in the United States today. So. One of the systems that really unique to us is the BioFresh system. Uh, first off, we do split, do not mix the air between the refrigerator and the freezers. So we have a damper environment in the food compartment, a very dry uh, compartment in the freezer. Uh, what we can do is literally take our air and we take the air and pull it from the top, push it down over the evaporator, and we push that cold air directly into this chamber. Okay, so as we go down the back of the refrigerator and over the evaporator, which is the refrigerator cold coil, because we separate the two systems, it's damp, it's moist, it has moisture on it. And as we pull that air in and push it over, we're picking up those water mallets and we're actually dispensing them into the biofresh chambers. So what this is going to do is going to generate an environment that's roughly 90% up to 90% relative humidity at about 33 degrees. You have two dynamics that are happening at this point in time. One, you're actually creating a system that's very similar to the misters that you see at ultra premium uh, organic grocery stores. The second thing is at 33 degrees, you actually put your fruits and vegetables into a hibernated state so that they're not giving off the ethylene gases and things of that nature. The other thing that we do is we actually pull the air out of these compartments and we keep any gases that may be dispensed by some of the foods moving so they're not contaminating the product. We literally have an app that you can get off your Apple or your Android phone that will tell you how long you can expect the food to last in these processes and in this system. And, and literally, again, we estimate we can save you four to $600 a year in uh, not throwing out vegetables. Now, you have two settings here. You have what we call a wet safe. This is for multiple drops. And again, you see your vegetable rating there or your vegetable uh, icons, if you will. This means you're gonna actually store foods in here that, that you want to last longer that are fruits and vegetable. And now one thing you do have to do with this is you have to remove them from the wrappers. So if you put them in here, if you take lettuce, it's in the wrapper, you put it in there, you're not gonna get the benefit of that moisture. You have to take it out of the wrapper. Uh, if you've got blueberries, just take the plastic wrap off. You can leave it in the little crate, if you will. But what you wanna do is expose it to the moisture. So the other setting is a dry safe, which you'll notice the symbols for fish, meat, poultry, things of that nature. We're actually gonna get colder temperature, less moisture, uh, and in that case, I mean, I've seen cheese last up to 100 days 
Um, generally meats, we're talking you know, probably seven days before you have to go and put them into a frozen state. Um, fish, maybe 24 to 72 hours before you want to move those into the freezer if you're not going to consume them. But again, the idea is that you can bring stuff home from the, from the grocery store, from the wholesale clubs or whatever. Don't have to freeze it immediately. You can put it in there, store it in these uh, colder environments uh, and, and literally do it tomorrow. So uh, again, that just gives you a little bit on uh, Liber. Uh, we're crafted in, in Germany. Uh, it's a great product. Again, we're very proud to represent it. Two other points. Uh, quietest refrigerator you're ever going to see. You know, a lot of people say they have quiet refrigerators, but when you, deal with, when you get right down and ask them what the decibels are, can't tell you. Nothing we have is over 42 decibels. So we're very, very quiet. Uh, and again, extremely energy efficient. So if you're looking for a great value uh, on refrigeration, I think this unit right now is coming in at about $59.99. Um, has a 2512 warranty. It's got a great warranty. And again, I know your customers would be very happy with this, uh, with this unit. Thanks a lot, Mark. Appreciate it, man. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching our YouTube video. If you'd like to see more appliance reviews and ratings, please click on the link below to subscribe to our channel or visit our website at appliancebuyersguide.com.